Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to solve uh, 2 and 5 6 divided by 5 and 5 9. Man, this just doesn't sound fun, does it? Well, what we're going to do is we notice that these are mixed numbers. And mixed numbers are great for us to be able to identify numbers like, you know, how much is, how much is 2 and 5 6? Well, that's 2 units plus 5 6 of another unit. And this is 5 units plus 5 9 of another unit. And that's great. It's really helpful for us to get a visual understanding of it. But really after that, as far as operations, we don't really want anything else to do with mixed numbers. So for me to do this operation, the first thing I'm going to want to do is get them out of mixed numbers and convert them to improper fractions. So to do that, you're going to take your denominator, multiply it by your whole, and then add it to your numerator. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17, over 6. Divided by 9 times 5, which is, oh, I'm sorry, 9 times 5, right, it's 45, plus 5 is 50 over 9. Now, I'm going to uh, remind you of a couple things before I um, show you how to do this. First thing I want to remind you is any number multiplied by its reciprocal equals 1. All right? The next thing I want to remind you is... Um, any number divided by 1 equals your numerator. So when we look at this problem, um, if I rewrite this like a normal, uh, or not a normal, but a with a fraction bar. So if I write this as 17 divided by 6 divided by 50 over 9, you notice there's a lot of fractions going on here, don't you? And one of the ways for us to do this, to get rid of all these fractions, is I need to get rid of this down below here. Well, I can make this equal 1 by multiplying it as its reciprocal. Because if I multiply by its reciprocal, it's going to go to 1. Uh, one other thing I guess I forgot to tell you. Um, if you have a fraction and you multiply the, num the denominator by a number, you also have to multiply the numerator by that same number to get equivalent fractions. As you guys should know, the 2 fourths is equivalent to 4 eighths. So since I multiplied the bottom fraction by 9 fiftieths, I need to multiply the top fraction by 9 fiftieths. When doing that, this now cancels to 1. And here, what I've done is I've just now turned a division problem into a multiplication problem. And that's kind of the more formal rule that we look at when we say, hey, don't divide fractions, flip and multiply. So that's exactly what I'm, all I need to do. 17 divided by 6 multiply by the reciprocal of your divisor, which is 9 over 50. Now, I just multiply across. I get 153 divided by 300. And then I notice 3 goes evenly into both of those terms. So I can reduce this down to 51 over 100. And that is your answer. Thank you.